Hello and welcome to The Inverted Mats, a fan mission for Thief 2. This is a sequel to the one I've just played, The Cult of the Resurrection. So in The Cult of the Resurrection, we uh, infiltrated the headquarters of a cult that was led by a uh, mysterious woman, Katrina, we don't know much about her, and an old necromancer, Rathis. We infiltrated their mansion, we slaughtered every single one of them, and we stole the Sword of St. Edgar and a mysterious gem called the Spirit Stone. Don't really know what we're going to do with either of those, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So this mission, the Inverted Mance, follows on from the events in Cult of the Resurrection. And uh, we'll find out what the briefing has to tell us. After obtaining the spirit stone from the hideout of the resurrection, the keepers naturally want the stone back for safeguarding. But after the ordeal I had to go through to get it, I'd like to find out more about this little artifact and why the keepers are so interested in it. Unlike the sword of Saint Edgar, which was blessed by a Hammerite saint, the spirit stone isn't even of hammer origin at all. Sources tell me it was discovered in some old tunnels beneath the foundations of a Hammerite factory in some kind of ancient pagan manse. <laughs> Typical of the Hammers to cover up something like this. Shortly after its discovery, the stone was shipped to a cathedral across town. And there it sat, just waiting for the resurrection to come and steal it. Shortly after that, the factory itself was abandoned to some kind of a disaster. And I'm willing to bet the entire place is haunted. Hopefully, whatever got the hammers won't get me while I'm down there. Fortunately, the town nearby is still active. An associate of mine works there and tells me the local weapons dealer is reputed to have some of the best weapons around. I'm probably going to need them. But I don't think a few zombies will be anything that I can't handle. Alright, so there are three different difficulty levels in this that, uh, again, they're doing something uh, unusual with the difficulty, aiming for them to be different playstyles more than actual difficulty levels. The mission is supposed to be similarly, similarly difficult with each. So Cut Purse is about thieving, stealing, and exploration. Now let's see the objectives. The entrance to the manse is located in the basement of the power plant, but is probably sealed off somehow. Your first goal is to find a way in. Your primary reason for making the journey is to find out the origins and powers of the Spirit Stone. Although the early pagans used a dialect quite different from the modern tongue, you could easily find scholars to help you translate one of their texts. The Spirit Stone supposedly has some great significance, and will undoubtedly appear in their writings. Find a book of their earth magic and steal it. Rumours have run wild for years about what, what happened after the first Hammerite party was killed in the underground tunnels. The plant has remained completely abandoned, and anyone who goes near and returns has spoken of piles of corpses and dead men who walk. Find out what happened in the last hours before the catastrophe. You have no idea what to expect from the tunnels, but the factory and the church close by should provide you with a fair share of valuables. A good thief like you should be able to scrounge at least 800 in loot. Stealing is right and good, but it won't do you any good if your corpse is rotting in the tunnels. Once you've gotten what you came for, make your way back outside. Alright, uh, Road is about traps, puzzles, and enigmas. Rumour has it that the undead were involved in the disaster at the factory, so you'll probably want to approach cautiously. Make your way up to the power factory by following the creek that runs behind and adjacent to it. Once inside, your first task will be to get to the underground tunnels which lead to the manse. Your primary reason 
Uh, that's the same. Book of, find a book of the Earth magic and steal it. Information gathered from the only two survivors of the first Hammerite party and from pagan scholars have claimed that, according to legend, the spirit stone has three sister gems buried somewhere, undoubtedly close to where the spirit stone was kept. They're bound to demand a large price. The three gems should guarantee you a pretty penny, but only a fool would stop there. Rob the dead for at least 1700 in loot. And, once you've gotten what you came for, make your way back outside. And finally, warrior difficulty is about items backstabbing and sneaking. After, equi after equipping yourself with weapons from town, make your way through the rock tunnels to the power plant. Once inside, descend to the lowest basement and find an entrance to the manse. And again, find a book of the earth magic and steal it. Some of the Hammerite cardinals close by were angered because one of their holy weapons was lost, along with the first party of the manse. St. Edgar's sword has served you well, but you can never have too many weapons against the undead. A famous Hammerite scholar named Ramus was killed, or at least disappeared, along with the warriors in the original Hammerite search party. You're willing to bet his remains could have some valuable information about what they discovered, or perhaps some unclaimed treasure. Sources report that the church erected close to the factory was also abandoned and sealed tight, but an experienced thief like you should be able to steal a number of valuables from the workers' courses and from the manse. Get at least 1,200 in loot. And finally, once you've gotten what you came for, make your way back outside. So, thieving, stealing, and exploration, and 800 in loot. Versus traps, puzzles, enigmas, and 1700. And items, backstabbing, and sneaking, and 1200 in loot. I think... I, I've never played this mission before. Um, that's true of pretty much every uh, fan mission that I'm playing on this stream. So I really don't know what to expect, but they're all kind of different. Um, so... I don't know. I might... Traps, puzzles, enigmas... Sounds fun. But given my inability to solve the puzzle in the previous one... Uh, without looking it up... And uh, I think I might give that a pass, because I don't want to be running around racking my brains and uh, eventually going back to the forums just to find the answer. It's uh, not really the approach I want to have on the recording. Warrior, well, last time we were running around slaughtering everyone, so it's probably time, not, you know, probably better not to do that. Let's, let's go with cut purse, thieving, stealing, and exploration. So, what do we start off with? Um, firstly, this mission has a bunch of unique uh, weapon types. Mud Arrow. This crystal contains a ball of wet mud, which splatters and quickly dries, allowing silent passage across its surface. Alright, that sounds like a uh, reed coloured moss arrow. We have the Spirit Stone, a lockpicks, compass, blackjack, rope arrows, explosive head arrow, slightly more powerful than an ordinary fire arrow. This weapon has a cluster of explosives attached to the end of its shaft, which explodes on impact. Costs 200. Uh, okay. Holy Water Arrow. This arrow contains a tip full of the Blessed Builder's Holy Water. It is a deadly weapon against zombies and other animated creatures. Nice. Not just a flask of holy water that gives you arrow your water arrows 30 seconds of holiness. These are, have their holiness built in. Uh, 125 each, though, but I will happily take one of those. Wind Arrow. Uh, harnessing the power of wind... Uh, hopefully it means, like, the wind and not Garrett's wind. This arrow sends a small whirlwind through its path, blowing out torches as it passes by them, and exploding in a burst of air as it strikes a target. Interesting. Okay, so... Could get some broad... What? 450? I guess there's 20 of them. And they're normally, what, 25 each? That probably adds up. That's a lot of money just to spend for some broadheads. Um... I, I know we're definitely going up against the undead. I do think a few more holy water arrows might come in very handy. Don't know if I want four of them. Razor heads. This arrow penetrates with its barbs and sticks into flesh, causing painful, aggravated injuries. More effective against hordes, haunts than an ordinary broadhead. It costs 850. Yikes. Um, explosive heads. Well, I've got one that's much more. I really don't know what I want. Uh, I do want a healing potion. I'm probably going to need it. What else? 526 left. <sighs> hmm. 
Mud arrows. I probably won't use it. Probably won't use it. 200 for an explosive head, 125 for holy waters. What if I get one of them? And two of them. I think it's 76. Is that enough to buy anything at all? Not flares, but like. But the idea of just putting broadheads and stuff in crevices is a bit silly. Um. Put one of them back in the cult. 200? So you can get another explosive, sure. I've got one left. Alright, that'll just be a tip for somebody. For the shopkeeper. Let's give it a go. And check out map. Alright, so the power factory is off to... I assume this is north and south. South of the town, north to the power factory. St. Alexander's Cathedral in the middle. Uh, black something creek and rock tunnels. Alright, now objectives. Find a way through the plant basement and into the manse. Steal a pagan type of spells, find out what happened in the final house of the factory, and steal 800 loot. Let's make a save as we begin. Now, go east or west. East is... where's east go? Oh, banners. Oh, fuck. Spiders. No thanks. You can't open doors, can you? <laughs> yeah, spiders. Not what I wanted to start off with. Uh, oh, that's a nice windmill. Alright. One more thing. Since I didn't check this, uh, my controls just seem to be messed up a little. I want to uh, jump and block with space. I want to be able to jump when I've got my sword out. Oh, that's better. Alright, can I unlock that? Maybe I can. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to have three ways to go. into this windmill. What's in here? Well, some loot, okay. Some flour. Oh, and a rope arrow, how nice. Is there any way to use it up here? Those look like wooden beams to me, don't they? leave anything of importance up here on these beams. Oh! Uh. That, was, that was stupid, wasn't it? Very stupid, Garrett. Very stupid of you. Who needs the undead to kill you, huh? And you kill yourself. Oh, look at that. Someone's been uh, firing razor heads into that beam. Alright, I can't quite reach the others from here, but I'll go over there. Come back down my rope. And... Climb up a little closer. Alright, that's uh, three razor head arrows, alright? It's alright. They might come in handy. At least, uh, you know, if nothing else, I can use one against the spider there, because I didn't have any arrows. Fortunately for me, the spider can't open doors. So, which way leads to the factory? That way or this way? I don't know. Let's explore this way. That sounds like undead. Yeah, we've got zombies here. Okay. Definitely, uh... Stuff around here. Fire's still burning. There's passages there as well. Hmm. Broken statue. And a pathway down.
Are we supposed to be following the creek or something to get that to the uh, factory? Oh, I'm dead. Right there. Zombies don't really bother me, but it's a bit bright here. Oh, he's seeing me now. come here so I can run around and go back and explore. Get me. Right, I want to go and see if I can unlock that door there. Gotta wait for our zombie friend to go up here, so I'll have a little bit of time to do it. Oh, a banner. Alright, you hear it? Good friend. Oh, that was not even locked. Great. Right away we have a hammer haunt. Okay, standing on noisy floor. On his ramp. Alright, once. Okay, he doesn't turn around. Okay, that's good to know. It's not really enough. Right, turn back again. Let's get on the carpet. So, if you wouldn't mind turning it back again. Oh, what the hell? That sword... Uh, makes me completely visible. That's not very nice. I don't like that at all. Zombie friend coming to explore, yeah, alright. Oh, he'll give up soon enough. Where is this? Somebody left the music on. Oh, it's a little too loud. We've got more haunts wandering around, I think. Sounds. I don't want to like some things. Alright, we have a basement. Did our zombie friend give up and go away? He did, sorry. Before I took the basement, let's go out this way. There's a horn that saw something. Hopefully, didn't actually see me properly because that would be. always make me nervous. Look at this tile. Oh! Do you look at that? God, tile floors everywhere. You know, tile floor is a occasional hazard, it's great, but as a, you know, where does that go? Up. Check it out in a minute. Anything around the side of the hall? 
No. Alright, let's go up. Tiled floors as a main feature have always annoyed me, ever since Lord Baffert's, who had far too much tile floor. And Constantine's mansion was even worse. Alright, nice dark corner. With a door. Leading to a statue staring at me suspiciously. Where is this? Is this the town? It looks rather town like, but uh, if it's a town, there's nobody alive. Oh, the statue's not actually looking at me, it's looking away. I could have sworn it was looking at me. Okay, I just misinterpreted it. Okay, that would have been creepy if it was a statue that actually turned around. Uh, right, passageway over there. Factory stuff, this is not the town. Right, this is the sealed Hammerite Church, right? How thoroughly sealed is it? Well, unless it's thoroughly with a can't pick lock. Ask me to write a guide to my own system. Who's to be in here? Who, 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 who? Nobody but me. This machine is mine. A piece of me in it there is. Four digits, twenty-six letters. Mine, I tell you. But if I die, it is to be sold. One button to highlight the choice of the digit. Change the button and the light if you want to move to a different digit. When sold, the door shall open automatically. My secrets you shall have. J. Uh, okay. One button to highlight the choice of the digit. Change the button and the light if you want to move to a different digit. Right, so you can uh, write things with this, huh? Well, I think I'm going to need a bit of a clue to find the answer, because that's not it. Anti-mechanist hammerite prototype weapons research facility. Authorized personnel only. Holy water arrows. Nice. I like any any holy water arrows you give me. I'll be grateful for. And I guess the roof there maybe is where the secret is, or is the vault here? That would be this vault. All right. Uh, yeah, Mr. J. No hint as to what the word might be. Mine, I tell you. Well, maybe. Maybe that's the word. Maybe that's him trying to be cunning. Uh, mine. Mine, mine, mine. It's all mine. Not one bit for you. Where's the E? Nope. That's clearly not it. Alright, well, if I see any other notes around here by Mysterious J, I guess I'll know where to look. If I don't, I'll try something else <coughs> just before I go back. Any more arrows in this fountain? No. Why are we here? A little strangely shaped building that is inaccessible. A thoroughly Locked portcullis. Another strange shaped building. So we came in, and there's another passageway off here. So let's check out this passageway. See where it leads us. Where are we on the map? Okay. It's a mountain pass. We go here. St. Alexander's Cathedral. Okay. mountain pass and that's going to lead us where? To the power factory again? I don't know. What does this lead us to where the spider was? What do you know? I can see a spider up there. Don't know if it's the same one, but it's still a thing I don't like. 
Good thing I've got some arrows, huh? Yeah, yeah, they're meant for the undead, but I will use them where I need them. And I need them on spiders. Because I... I'm not good at doing the spiders. So yeah, this is the same place. This takes us right back to the start again. To the windmill. So we've checked out the windmill, and we've checked out part of that route. There's a room full of undead I need to check out that way as well. Uh, so I'll get back to that, but first... Let's have one more quick try of reading that note and seeing if it gives me a clue as to what the secret word might be. There we go. Wait, is there any way? Can I get up there at all? <laughs> you know what? I think I can. There may not be anything up here to get. There's a nice skybox. Quite dark. Uh, windows into some room or something. Yes, we're empty. And I could probably get behind that building, but that would be a bad idea because there's nothing there. So let's just go back down again. Alright, let's check out this guy's clues once more. Mr. J. Piece of me in it, there is. That must be a clue, right? Let's change his mind. A piece of me in it, there is. If I die, it is to be sold. Hmm. Any secrets you shall have? Mm hmm. I don't know. Nothing there that really suggests. See? Taff. Taff and combination locks. Not leaving me with sufficient clues. I don't think that's a clue. Ah, alright. Never mind. Back we go. Crazy floor and the slow creeping because there's more haunts around and they're not far away. And even with my slow creeping, I still mess up occasionally. And you hear a loud clank as my f foot hits the floor. I'm not sure to alert any nasties nearby. I know there are nasties nearby. So I got there in a second and check it out. I was pretty sure there's one controlling up that way. But first, always check under the stairs. You never know. Most of the time there's nothing. But on that one time out of 20 when there is something, it's absolutely worth it. I go back on the... Uh, Less noisy around, but now it's all brightly lit. Not all brightly lit, thankfully. Does he turn around? Yes, he does. All right, good to know. As I need him to turn away from me. Fast, but on their feet. Right, not me. I'm gonna 
going to use... Oh, that's not a water arrow. That's a wind arrow. I don't know how that's supposed to work. I was going to say I'm going to use an arrow there, but I'm instead going to go around to the other side and see if there's another set of stairs upwards. Alright, let me see floor. Because if... Yeah, there is more stairs. Perhaps on the other side I'll get a better view of the place. Where is this, by the way? This must be the cathedral proper. Yeah. Definitely not the factory. Slowly. Oop. See, that's why you gotta go slowly. So you don't make too many of those footsteps. Once again, doesn't look like anything under here, but uh, you never know. Always worth checking. Seems to be coming closer. So the zombie. Stairs up. A very a lovely dark room. Look at here. Oh, hammer statues. Alright, I'll take those. Anything on this way? More loot. Okay. Let's go up and uh, try to see if we need to deal with that. Uh, is there any way to deal with that haunt up there before we head out to somewhere where we might be seen? Steaming loot. That's too far too bright. I suppose this is where you should say window, right? It's supposed to put out uh, all torches passers by. There's one patrolling on the side, and this guy turns back and forth. Alright. Yeah, there's a patrolling one. Does he come this way? No, he doesn't. So wait till the patrolling one goes away. Let's get turns aside. Might be very quick because he turns quickly. Alright, back to that I hope his friend didn't hear. They are so quick on their feet and so quick with the sword that uh, if I do get spotted, it's basically, uh, hello, you're dead. Or oh, there's a frantic Benny Hill chase everywhere. Both of which are just kill lots of time. I'd rather have it out of the way so I can explore in peace. Come on, show me your patrol route. Yeah, now he's back to ordinary patrolling. And he's going away. All right, let's see if I can sneak up behind him. Nope. Uh, uh, he's going 
kill us. We gotta kill us. Oh no, I got him. Alright. I was lucky. He kinda got stuck in the corner here trying to turn around. I don't think he's turn around. Lucky for me. Alright. I think that's all the haunts gone from this place. And what do we have? Up here then. Chapel. Scroll. Bishop A. The gauntlet has arrived from Sunnyport and is currently in storage. Until Jingo Von finishes the new security lock, I thought it would be best to stick it in the basement. Currently I know it's only serving as a morgue, but it has a strong lock to keep prying eyes away from its holy radiance. The fact that it's used for this purpose may serve as an additional deterrent given the state of the bodies from the last smelting accident. As you requested, the weapon shall continue to be stored until you explicate otherwise. I believe Maxis has put in an official request to use the holy relic for the expedition the factory is sending into the tunnels, but I told him I would need to inform you first. A bad idea, if you ask me. Acolyte Lancer. Right, now we have the guy's name, Jingabon, who definitely made that lock, and he said a piece of me is in it. So you know what I reckon? I reckon it's just four letters out of his name, which is a very strange name. Uh, so what I will do is just note down his name. I can go back and try the lock again with uh, some combination of those letters. Or some sequence of that. And that, what have we got? A book! Tenants of the Master Builder, Chapter 6. Do the servants of the Master Builder yearn to bear the same fruit year after year, reap the same harvests, sprout the same flowers, to return like the same leaves of a deadened oak? Do they put aside their ambitions to rot with vermin of the earth, no better than the plants that nourish their bodies? Nay, saith the Builder, the way of the Master Builder is one of change, the way of the Master Builder is one of progress. But the Master Builder looketh not kindly upon those who take up the false idol. The hymns of the Builder in mine head to quiet the needs of the flesh, the armour of the Builder about my body to protect from weeds of the earth. The hammer of the builder in my hand to smash those who stand against me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the treasure of the master builder in my hands to help me pay my rent? Oh. Uh, well, I could wait till I find a key. If I find a key. Or I could just use brute force. What's this bloody bright sword for if not for beating down wooden doors, huh? Okay. It's not breaking, is it? The door is not making breaking sounds. Hmm, what if I'm throwing stuff at it to break any better? Yes. I saw it might not be doing enough damage. But, uh. That rubble certainly sounded like it was breaking it. No? See? Sometimes it sounds like it damages it. Like that. Sometimes it just sounds like it's a thud. Come on. Maybe it's not actually breaking. Maybe I do need a key after all. Poo. That's just silly. Why would anybody abandon their place and leave important things locked up behind? Actually, I just realised I, I do have a light if I want to search for places. Search places, right? Is there a key hidden around? Of course not. But I can now search this room for a key that somebody dropped, which I don't think there will be. God. Is 
anything in this room. Keys. Does anybody have a key here? No? Shame. Great shame. Alright. But, uh, I will take that. Not much loot, but it's something. Well, I guess if I don't find what's in that key, or oh, behind that door, I guess that's just too bad. Two banners. I haven't even been in here yet, have I? Have I? Just the way I came in. I can't remember. Oh, another note. Sir, I'm a bit worried since the furnishing of the cathedral here. I was under the impression that the pews were to remain in the main hall. I know you spoke to me briefly before about the meditation on the great builder's wisdom in the Hall of Echoes, but I did not expect the chapel upstairs to be so small. It is true that some of the workers here are not of the one faith. But I don't think we are helping things any by confining the place of tenant study to the third floor. I know the intentions of our benefactors was to build a shrine rather than a cathedral, but I am of the opinion that we should do something to encourage attendance at the weekly sermons. Sincerely, Acolyte Ebrius. And he's left a little valuable <coughs> letter opener, I guess. Right. Cut down you. Cut down you. Right. What do we have around here? This is the way... Oh, it's the way in back to where the zombies are. That's not the way I want to go. I want to go to... Mr. Jingavon's lock. And, uh, see if I can find... Anything resembling... A combination... Made out of the letters of his name... That might open it. This is, uh, sounds like they had a good weapon. Alright, let's just start with the first four letters. Where's J? Not that one. J. Y. N. G. Nope. Well, I guess let's just be, uh, a little tediously, but I'll just go through all the letters of the name in order. It's not that long. Because I don't really have anything to go on one way or the other. N G E R. No bits of his letter, if his name actually sound like a word. Otherwise, I would have tried that first. R. Alright, nope. Now G E R V. Yeah. I don't see why I have to be the one down here in the cold and the dark and the damp trying a million combinations to open this safe and steal the weaponry from it. wrong, you know, about my... Oh, it's a piece of me, therefore it's a piece of my name. Because, uh... It's just not supposed to be opening anything, or I would have heard it, right? Hmm. That's his name. The damn safe never opened. What does he say again? Who's to be in here? Who, who, who? Nobody but me. This machine is mine. A piece of me in it there is. Uh, four digits, 26 letters. Mine, I tell you. But if I die, it is to be sold. One button to highlight the choice of the digit. Change the button and the light if you want to move to a different digit. When sold, the door shall open automatically. My secrets you shall have. So yes, if I go right, the door will open automatically. Now... Yeah, so what is it? Last thought, before I go away. It doesn't seem to be part of his name in that sense. I'm not going to try every combination of letters I find there, because that's just ridiculous. I don't know that kind of time. You don't know that kind of time. What I'm going to do is just see if there's a different noise when you hit the right letter. I'm just going to go through all the letters on the first one. Mm 
a bit too obvious, but it's always possible. Sesame. Alright. I shall give up on that. I am going to make a save for my own interest right here so that later I can come back. I can look it up, what I missed, what stupid clue I should have figured out and didn't. And uh, come back and see what was in there for my own benefit. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to have to forego whatever valuable weapon might be held there. Without any more clues, I'm not really not going to make any progress. Alright, we still have a basement of this place to explore before we go back to where our zombie friend was. So, let me creep down the stairs. I think he's just outside the door there. Yeah. Well, I can pick this lock and there's a flickering light behind it. So it stand to one side, I think. So there's another haunt in here. No? Ah, maybe further down. Oh. Well, I can't open that door without a key. Alright. Yeah, there's a zombie friend again. However... leave him behind and come back to the other room here where his friends were the question then is yeah, I can hear them. where do we go from here now I'd use another window on this torch but I just don't have another one I'm just going to go past I'm trying to get in the dark corner that worked I bet they're all under it. Um, that's where we came in, isn't it? Maybe not. Oh yeah, there's a windmill. Wait, it's a different windmill. There's somebody dead in front of it. Yeah, that's not the way we came. Uh, Alright, turn around you guys. I want to get to those doors up there. You actually. God damn it, it's a key. Well, I guess I'll have to follow you, alright. Some dark corner for me. day or all night. Uh, you see those banners up there. I do see a ledge. I wonder if we can get a bit of slashing. I like they've given zombies new noises, but I uh, yeah. also feel like they could have been scarier. What's that? Loot. I'll take that. There's a way forward there. Let's see what's over this bridge. The machinery to turn off. Can I get up there? Mm, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Nice water wheel, though. Anything in the water? What do you know? There is indeed a passageway. Where does it lead? Do 
see a flooded basement. With apparently nothing in the water for me to take. There's some stairs. That's clearly a factory. More deserted. Oh, god damn. Didn't notice in the dark that they're standing on bloody metal. Is this all metal? Yeah, god damn it. There's nobody about, apparently, but you never know when there's somebody nearby who just happens to hear come racing down and uh, ruin your day. Like, uh, that haunt standing over there, for example. I mean, they tend to be pretty good at uh, seeing as well. Now, wait, is this the same front yard as in before? Did I completely miss seeing this door that I'm standing at? I don't know. Surely not. God, is that metal stairs as well? God, it is too. Uh, this is just another place full of bodies. I don't see any easy way of sneaking up on that haunt. Maybe. I don't care what you hear down there. We post watch for a reason. If thou cannot handle it, thou can be replaced by one of thine brothers with more faith in the builder's power of protection. He's getting a door and a portcullis, and he's probably going to see me if I try to run up there and attack him, right? Yeah, he will. So that is not, at least not yet. Maybe later. First, we have some banners here to destroy before our zombie friend comes to see us. West wing under construction. Metal stairs? No, it's stone. Good. Smelting. Well, do we want to go for smelting? Oh, there's a big friend. Let's turn around again. Yeah, on well, the west wing door doesn't even open. Alright. Guess we try smelting. You smelt it, tilt it. There's another haunt. Cunningly looking away to try and trick me into coming up behind him, and then he turns around. Yeah, he does turn around. It's quite, not quite dark enough here for my liking. He does seem to be alone. I should be able to get quite close. And then... Oh, he looks this way. He actually looks straight ahead. I bet he doesn't turn to face the wall. Because that would be too easy. Oh, too bright. Okay. Next time he turns away, I'm going to go for it. Mm. Uh. He's got some loot. A uh, convenient bit of lava. <laughs> Dispose of him in. Oh, what's he looking at? He's guarding this room here. Yeah, okay, that would be annoying to try and sneak past his site to loot that room. I don't have to sneak. I might have friends around, but they can't hear anyone right now. Oh, now I can. So he has friends somewhere.
You heard nothing. You have to turn around, sir. Yes. All right. Uh, let's go here. Well, someone else patrols this way. Thankfully, it's quite dark in this room. So I shouldn't see the corpse. All right, he turns around anyway. All right. Let's just close the door. I won't stop any sound. Well, I bet that's lights. Oh, that's, uh... Oh, dear. It's been burning, burning that poor, uh, still alive there. Gross. Alright. Can I unlock this? Yes. Here's the room our other friend was looking at, and it's nice another doorway. What does it say? Henry, see to it that the stone is shipped out as soon as possible. The cardinals are anxious to have a look at it. But remember, there is to be no mention of what those crazy fools who came back said. We're shipping another party down there tomorrow to deal with whatever it is that they found, and look to see if anyone is still alive. So keep it quiet. Ship it out first thing. Worry about cleaning up the smelters once you've taken care of this first. Maxis. Well, they didn't ship it out fast enough. Because they all died. Oh god, look at that floor. Hopefully there's nobody around to here, right? Nobody around to here. Can I just prance and dance on this floor? Please tell me it's safe to do this. So there's where I came in. Some machinery. And a mine, I'll take that. There's a haunt that I have trouble getting behind. Then that will be quite handy. Anything on top? <laughs> nope. Uh, what a noisy room. Alright. I think I'll go back out. Slowly now, because sound might trap might carry from out here. Okay. There's a, another horn patrolling down the steps through this door. I kind of want to wait for him to come and then get him as he turns around and goes back up the stairs. So I'm going to wait here for just a minute and see if he comes. No. Hurry up. Well, it's taking a sweet time. Here he comes, here he comes. God, I didn't really just stop and stand there. Came within about. close as it's possible to see me, but then my heart basically <coughs> stopped. There's someone else up there. Heard some more jingling. Whew, I thought I thought for sure he'd see me, because I pulled out my sword and he suddenly turns back and it's like I can't put it away quickly enough to hammer on the key. But uh, no, he didn't see me. Just not sure about that other friend of his I hear wandering around. Scouting. See if anybody walks past the door. No. That's just quiet now. No! Ow! Ow! Where were you? Ouch. 
Well, that's not a workable plan, is it? Try going one on one with him. Why not? <laughs> God, he got me. Ah, but he didn't get me for much. All right. <sighs> okay, he fell all the way down into the light. Not quite what I was after. Uh, I do have one peeling potion, but I don't think I need it just yet. I'll save it till I've, uh, when I've lost a few more hit points. First things first. It's a window, not a banner. Oh, there's a banner. It doesn't break. Also, I can't really get past it, can I? Yes, I can. That one breaks. It doesn't matter that there's nothing behind it. It's the principle. All banners must be destroyed. Cut down. I mean, that's a banner that's a stained glass window. It's a very odd design, but okay. Didn't know that you could uh, make a stained glass tapestry. But now that I know, there's noisy stairs. So where are we? This is, uh... Oh, shit. Come quickly to me! Our brethren are under attack! The walls of the basement have been breached! God, you give me a fright. Hearing footsteps suddenly beside me, I thought a haunt that I had no idea was there was suddenly about to attack me. No, it's just, just the ghosts of the hammers. <laughs> oh, this is a unexciting room. Wait. What? I'm hearing more hammer jingles. More jingles. I don't like that. Well, I guess... I should expect that there's more of them here. Anyway, uh... If that's the way to the basement then, given that's where that guy came and... yelled at his friends to help him... from... Then I guess I need to see what is down this way. <coughs> Apart from now. <coughs> Oh, see, friend. And of course, another banner. Which doesn't break. Okay. Doors. Big double doors. Which lead to somewhere else where there is probably someone else ready to get me. No? I'm not so fast, okay, where, where does this lead? Oh, this will be the front doors that I couldn't pick. Alright. So I went around the back way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that leaves me with uh, nowhere to go to proceed except this door. Alright, um, I'm guessing the basement is down this way, but I'm going to cut the episode here, make myself a fresh cup of tea, and I will see you for the next episode.